Hey folks, your OS reviews. You're watching our video first look and a quick review of the Crenova XPE 470. This is a mini LED projector which creates up to a 130 inch display and supports up to 1080p HD video. Uh, has a full size HDMI port in addition to SD cards ports and VGA ports, which we'll show you in a moment. And it sells on Amazon for about 105 bucks uh, with free shipping. So it's not the cheapest uh, mini projector we've seen, but the quality here is also a bit better in terms of the construction the resolution and the overall fit and finish. Uh, it doesn't have you know really too much bells and whistles as far as uh, having you know Bluetooth or Wi-Fi on board so it's pretty standard uh, although it does have a 1200 lumen output which is uh, decently bright so you can still see it when there's some light in the room. We'll show you that in a moment as well and it is something that you can take with you when traveling so perhaps a good choice uh, if you're again maybe a teacher or giving some lectures or for entertainment if you're tight on space in a dorm room for instance it's another uh, application it comes with a remote and HDMI cable is also included uh, and the technical resolution though is still capped at 800 by 480 so that is standard it seems with most of these uh, China based projectors we've seen without a uh, really formal name but here's the box itself uh, pretty simple shows out some basic info on the sides the settings comes in multiple languages as well supports a direct SD card and you have it loaded up with content like songs uh, or even video files so on and so forth and the inside again includes the power cable the remote there is a full-sized HDMI cable, so that's a nice extra that's included, an AV cable for connecting it a standard way, analog way, and there's also a stand which allows you to pop up the projector at an angle when watching content. We'll check out the remote, I guess, first. Uh, it has a pretty standard layout, I'd say. The keys are fairly raised above the surface, which is pretty tactile and responsive. Uh, there isn't a backlight, however, so that's something to note. It has a brushed look and finish, but it's basically made out of plastic and uses a standard IR port on the very top. Allows you to navigate things pretty easily, even though it's not a air remote, so you can't use it as a wand or as a mouse on screen. Uh, the back takes two AAA batteries, which are not included either. There's a quick start guide, which is pretty well documented. It's also printed in full color, shows you how to connect various things like computers, laptops, uh, smartphones to the projector unit itself. And underneath here, we have access just to the projector, uh, actual projector. So taking a look at the design of the projector next, we're going to discuss uh, the overall build as well as the look. Uh, it comes in just this one silver metallic color, as far as I know. So this is what it looks like. You can see it has some um, metallic accents on the front. It is made mostly out of plastic and has a fairly substantial feel to it. Some of these tiny projectors I've seen out of Shenzhen, China in the past tend to feel a little hollow, but this one seems actually pretty reassuring. It does feel uh, heavier than I originally suspected. You have access to controls on the very top for focusing, manual adjustments. There's also an LED light which will turn on when the projector is on. There's also adjustments for going to the settings to change the, the aspect ratios, the uh, volume. There are built-in speakers on here, but uh, we'll talk about that in a moment. The sound quality is loud, but it's not the best that we've seen. There's also adjustments for the input, so it goes through the various you know things like the VGA, HDMI, so on and so forth. Four-way navigation toggle with a center power on-off switch. The sides here features access to a antenna, so you can plug it in and watch some uh, radio, watch some television if you're in a country that still uses you know analog signals. There is also a a, uh, a IR port for receiving the remote control. Full-size SD card. Uh, there's an HDMI port here, a AV port, so for connecting it to the you know, for connecting it into the RGB. There's also a headphone port if you don't want to use the built-in speakers. There's some ventilation grills to prevent the entire thing from overheating, and the other sides features access to a USB port, so you can plug in a thumb drive loaded with your favorite movies or videos on it. It can read it as well. The uh, AC power cable there can be plugged in. There's also a VGA port, more ventilation grills, and the speakers on the other side. The front just shows the company's logo, Crenova. And there's also a protective lid for the lens itself, just to prevent it from getting scratched. Uh, and the actual you know screw would go onto the back if you want to pop it up at a different angle when you're enjoying content. Uh, there isn't. Here's what the Crenova projector looks like when it's turned on. It actually is a lot brighter, more vibrant than I originally thought. This is what the user interface looks like, and uh, it's pretty simple and straightforward. So you have a few tabs for things like checking out images, music, videos, and text files that are loaded using a thumb drive or an SD card. Uh, it's going to be read by the proprietary operating system. You have to then toggle back and forth using the remote to go through the main settings. Uh, and when you're done, you can select things uh, such as the sources, if you have a phone or a computer plugged in. So we're going to try that right now and see uh, how long that process takes. 
So here we can change things such as the color temperature, the noise, the background, the font size, uh, when the projector times out. Uh, over here we can change things such as the sharpness, the volume as well, uh, to exit out of that. Over here we can change things like the input source. So this is what we want. We're going to try and go up to HDMI and see if uh, it's going to show up with the computer that we have on screen over here. So indeed it does. I have to say that uh, right now we are projected to a virtual screen size of roughly 100 inches and it, things seem rather sharp and impressive, um, at least for a projector with a native resolution that isn't even 720p. If you look really closely, you will find a bit of pixelation and a bit of uh, tiny grids that indicates uh, not as much of a high definition display as you would get from a flat screen panel or an ultra HD phone or you know a monitor screen. But overall, not really not a bad experience if you're doing a few quick presentations, if you're doing some quick video clips, you want to watch those, um, also enjoy a few clips uh, or movies from YouTube. It certainly does the job and you can still have a very nice experience. There is a bit of an ambient background noise created by the fan, which you can hear in the background here. Uh, but overall, if you have a bit of music playing back in the background, it isn't too distracting and also isn't too noticeable. So we're going to play back a clip here from YouTube and show you guys the experience you would get also from the speakers built into the projector, which is where the audio is coming out from. Of course, you can plug in additional speakers or headphones if you want to. So I'll say that the overall speaker quality seems to be decent. It's a little bit on the tinnier side of the spectrum. There isn't too much bass. However, uh, it's going to be okay, I would say, if you have some sound effects in a presentation or a few clips you're watching. If you're doing a movie, I would suggest uh, plugging in an external pair of speakers just because those are a lot louder and produce a bit more of a richer sound that you'll enjoy if you have a thriller or maybe some kind of suspense film playing back. So overall, a pretty decent experience. I would say that the color temperature and the overall saturation of the projector exceeded my expectations. It really isn't too washed out either. Of course, if you have lights on in the background, uh, this isn't really a you know super bright projector, so it's going to become more washed out, uh, especially if you are watching videos, let's say, at daytime. Uh, however, in general, in a darker environment, it does the job, and again, at this price point, I think it's one of the better uh, qualities I've seen out of uh, a more generic projector you can find on Amazon. So anyways, guys, this has been a quick video first look. and a quick At the end of the day, the Crenova XPE470 mini LED projector is a decent choice because it has a very solid construction quality, and the audio as well as video quality seem to be slightly better than other portable projectors we've seen out of Shenzhen, China. Uh, with that being said, the price point here is also a bit steeper than competitors you might find on Amazon. Uh, they might be you know, 10 or 20 bucks cheaper. With that being said, this one here does have a very reassuring build. Uh, the plastic here seems to be quite sturdy and it feels overall a bit better uh, put together. It still remains fairly compact and easy to take with you if you are traveling. To check out more details about this projector, you can read our full written review, which has a few more details about the performance and the testing. But this has been our video review. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.